indoor nightlife could return around October 15th, but COVID passports may be in force. However, the loosening of measures announced yesterday will not be enough to curb on-street mass drinking, according to the Mayor of Barcelona. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. Outdoor areas of nightlife establishments will be able to open until 3am from Thursday. Indoor spaces may follow in some weeks, but showing the EU COVID certificate may be a condition. Part of the opposition and nightclubs say this measure comes too late. The sector has asked for help to implement certificate checks, while the government ruled out such documents for bars and cultural venues. 5 billion euro extra expenditure in public health in the next five years focusing on public health is only one of the measures in the government's plan for this term published today. Setting up a public energy company, talks with Spain on independence and more social housing are other goals. Spain's new audiovisual law regulating streaming platforms like Netflix does not include quotas for the Catalan language. No protection for minority languages could be lethal for them, according to the cabinet and some entities. És només un esborrany que no està tancat i per tant, des d'aquí, des del govern treballem perquè sigui modificat amb les nostres reclamacions. El català audiovisual és prioritari per en aquests moment per aquest govern. En aquestes nostres accions van a eh, sempre tratar de proteger aquest element de riqueza que és el tener un país con distintas lenguas cooficiales. The Virgin Mary Tower of Barcelona's Sagrada Familia, the second tallest of the Basilica, will be completed on December 8th. The tallest one, dedicated to Jesus Christ, has no completion date. The star that will top it will be a viewpoint. No sé, no sabem, no som capaços ara de ja li dit de 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 intentar fixar una nova data. And that's all we have for now, but you can check out our website and our social media channels for all updates. And don't forget to check in tomorrow for another edition of Catalan News in 100 Seconds. Many thanks for watching.